Hey everybody, Rich from Boots and Jeans Riders. We are back in the parking lot today and we're gonna cover a basic parking lot skill that you can set up. Pretty simple, pretty easy. All you need is maybe six to 10 cones or tennis balls or whatever you use it. And that is the slow cone weave. Now, why you would wanna do the slow cone weave? Well, I'm gonna show you. Slow cone weave is to get you to have that bike moving under you and slow maneuvers instead of leaning with the bike and you're doing counter steering when you leaning with the bike and counter balance when you're doing slow maneuvers. So what you're doing is, you guys about to see my <laughs> cone weave dance. What you're doing is you're sitting directly straight up on the bike. Arch your back as much as possible, sit high on the tank as much as possible and you're going through the cones with the bike moving under you and you're not moving with the bike just that simple if you're new to this you might want to set your cones up like 15 feet apart here i have them set up at 12 feet and i'm going to do two different demonstrations one is going to be just kind of maneuvering like this and you will see my front wheel will clear the cone but my back wheel will not so you want to go out and dip your bike as needed it's not a fast maneuver it's not a slow maneuver either it just as you're doing it you know everything's still the same friction zone little throttle slight break if you need it but you want to go out as wide as possible and definitely do not look down at the cones you want to look straight ahead and you can see the cones with your perpendicular <laughs> straight ahead and you can see the cones with your peripheral vision i should cut that out got a rooster crowing over here it's probably about three o'clock in the evening i don't know what's going on with this thing but anyway i'm gonna do two demonstrations the first one is how you're not supposed to do it so let me get my gear on and we're gonna get started okay now i got my helmet on put my safety gloves on and this is about the time you might want to really put your safety gear on because if you're doing <laughs> a rooster still making noise <laughs> <laughs> if you do doing slow maneuvers, especially tight circles, which we're not doing today, you might drop your bike. And for the most part, when people drop their bike, they just step off the bike. However, if you drop your bike and roll at the time, you definitely want to have on safety gear. So when I'm about to do this first one, I want you to look at the lights. Pay attention to my lights on the bike. Well, you see, you probably can see the lights 100% of the time. Whereas when I do the second one, you barely see the lights. Now the first one I'm going to show you is how you're not supposed to do it. You really want to swing out a little further to clear these things. And why would you want to do these things? You know, you're in a parking lot, you get into a gas pump and a car come. You're not panicking, you're standing in your friction zone using a rear brake. And you're not panicking hitting that front brake. And you're just going around objects with the bike swinging under you. However, if you don't swing the bike, I'm sure you're going to happen. Now, I'm not going to try to hit the cone intentionally. But I am going to clear each cone with my front tire. And because I'm not swinging wide enough, the rear tire may not clear it. So I'm just going to take it slow and kind of maneuver, neander on through it. And I know I'm clearing each cone with my front tire. I know that for sure. Did I knock any down? Yes, I did. I knocked two down. So I'm going to go down and do it again and show you the correct way to do it right after I put these two cones back up. And another key to doing this is, as I said before, sit straight up on the bike. And if you need to, get closer on your tank. And if I could do this on a big bike like a Goldwing, and you ride in a smaller cruiser or a sports bike, you should not have any problem doing this. I guess that rooster won't want me to leave. <laughs> right there making all that noise. So the second time, I'm going to do it. Like I said, pay attention to my lights if you saw it the first time. The second time I'm going to do it is how the correct way to do it, to go all the way out, let that bike lean under you. <laughs> I was making a turn so I could come back and do it from a row. Uh, police, hope they ain't coming after me. Nope. So the second time, I want to start out as an optic. I'm looking straight ahead really 
whipping the bike around the objects. And as you can see, if you're paying attention to the light, at some point you won't even see the light. Okay, now I'm going to let you see how I look doing it the correct way from the rear. And as I say, start out wide, it's, look at it as an object in your way. And you really have to dip that bike in order to clear the cone. Not looking at the cones, just dipping them. And you're clearing the cones. One more time from the front. Pay attention to the bike and the lights. Now I have the cones at 12 feet apart. You gotta put them a little further apart if you just noted this. Let me start from this side. Coming all the way out. Looking all the way down. Hard dip. As I stated before, this is the basic practice you want to do. That way you can start getting your bike to move under you and you're not leaning with the bike. So, like I said, we're gonna do a couple basic parking lot series. So the next one, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can be advised, notified when we put the next one up. The next one is gonna be next week. All right. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but trust me, it's gonna be basic. So if you're out there riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Dean's Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace.